بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ایم یو ہوسٹ علی رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈیمانسٹریٹ یو مائی نیو ایڈیشن ان سافٹ ویئر سیریز از رینٹل مینجمنٹ سسٹم دس سافٹ ویئر از بیسیکلی ڈیزائن فار دوز ٹائپ آف پیپل ہو اونس دیئر شاپس فلیٹس اپارٹمنٹس بلڈنگس اینڈ اینی ادر ایسٹ دیٹ دے وانٹ ٹو رینٹ اینڈ وانٹ ٹو میک دیئر انوینٹری پراپر اینڈ آٹومیٹک سو دس سافٹ ویئر ہیلپس دوز دوز ٹائپ آف پیپل So let's start and have a look what we have today. So this is the login screen and this is a Windows application uh, backed up with Microsoft SQL Server database. So let's start. First of all, we have to log in and here for guidance and for how to use this software, I have put the steps if you can see at the top of every button that the, the, this is the first step, then this is the second step and then you have to do this and then you have to do that. So let's start from users. The, the people who use this software okay so like here I have added two people and these people can use this software loaded here and if you click on add it that the, the screen will uh, enable and you can uh, enter the data okay and when you click on save there are validations as well and when you type something it will go away so when you click here the the existing data if you want to load and then you can edit and when you click on save it will save automatically and so on and you can delete as well so this is the way this software works all over all over the windows that you will see now so these are the locations now that person that wants to put their property his property on rent so he can add all his locations here one by one same like you have added users okay so first of all i'm going to add a location so first of all you have to click add and then you can you can write here test and then you can write just save so you can see a location has been added and you can modify that location uh, whenever you want to modify and change its name anyways so you here you can add all the locations and then these are the phases of the locations where these locations are uh, play uh, uh, you know the the address or the area the locality where these locations are like phase one and uh, phase one belongs to Christwick let's say and phase one there is also another phase one in uh, area 49 the long way and so on and in Christwick there is a phase two as well so it's a, a subdivision of your uh, locations then there's a third place actual location name this is the area you can say then within the area are there any phases and then these are the actual locations so if i click on view you can see here that i have shop one in phase one in Chriswick and started on 10th of march and it, the status is occupied so locate your shop your flat your apartment anything you can select your location where it it, it is and you see i have added test just now and it is appearing here so as many locations you will add it will come so Chris Wick let's say and I'm going to add another phase uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to select a phase and then I'm going to enter a number of shop or apartment or we can say here flat one and the trading date is 14th May and click on save so you see flat one added successfully and it is by default vacant okay because we have just added it so this is how you can add the shops then of course the tenants we have to add tenants first uh, and then we'll assign those tenants with our shops so like here i have added some tenants that the process is same you have to click on add the form will enable and then you can enter all the details and then click on save and then um, uh, the data will be saved okay so i will come to reports later on let me first demonstrate all the software after adding the tenants you can go to occupancy now in this phase this is the step five and we are going to assign uh, the tenant uh, with the location and uh, uh, the shop so let's say i have select Christwick, and then i am going to select phase two because i have added so this is flat one is coming because this is vacant so only vacant uh, um, only vacant uh, asset will come here and then you can select your tenant which tenant you are going to assign this and the starting date and the leave date so i'm going to put here 2025 for two years 14th may any is there any advance payment there are some conditions where people uh, took the advance payment let's say i am giving here 100000 and then 
this payment i am taking for like monthly basis so most of the people ask for quarterly payment in uh, in the beginning uh, like advance payment basically so this payment uh, is of what duration so i said let uh, monthly and if you want to put any comment you can put any comment and click on save so you see flat one assigned to musa ji so here you can you can give the notice period as well you can deactivate this flat if uh, there is any problem and you can close this uh, at uh, i have assigned to this uh, tenant that is musa ji now we are going for another thing that is that i haven't put any step here because it's a simple thing that you have to do in the very beginning when you first start the software if i show you this vat so uh, it depends on country to country what type of vat it uh, you, you are using uh, you are having in that country so inclusive 16.5% and so on exclusive and exempt if you want don't want to and you if you want to add you can add here as well but there i have put only three types because these are the three types only so this is the vat thing and this will help us in order to calculate the invoices now this is the set rent step the very important step uh, come here and click on add and now here we are going to select our location and then phase 2 and then the shop number is oh sorry flat number is 1 and you can click on find you see nothing is coming that means there is no rental set to put a rent of 100000 okay from this date to um i'm going to select let's say september so from may to september the monthly rent this window is to, is to set the monthly rent so from may to september every month i will charge 100000 rupees or kwacha whatever you can you can you can put the currency and then save so flat one rent added successfully and you can see here as well you can deactivate it if you don't want this rent and you can again add the new rent uh, if you have done any mistake anyways so let's go back i have set the rent as well now i'm going to create the receipt for my uh, tenants so, so that i can give them and they will pay them rent to me so those steps that you have seen before guys this is the one time steps that you have to set now every month you just open you have to come on step 7 on the rental receipts and come here and select your select musa ji and automatically uh, his his assigned flats and shops will come to me so i said okay flat 1 and i when i click on find the system will automatically show me oh okay i have to get 100000 from uh, may 14 to september so what type i'm going to choose for this in tenant i'm going to set inclusive and then rental period is let's say quarterly so you automatically see because i have set 100000 for one month so because i'm taking quarterly rent so it will automatically calculate 300000 if i'm going to put any discount i give any discount and then i click on this button so it will give me the final figure okay if i change here from inclusive to exclusive because the tax is inclusive 16.5% is inclusive in it so if i click on exclusive and uh, then i click on quarterly okay so you see automatically the figure changes and the uh, tax 16.5% is added after the after the rent okay and then any discount and then calculate so you will get your final figure and the due date let's say i'm going to put here 25th of may and there are additional comments if you want to put and if this is a credit thing so you can check on this credit note okay and then click on save so this invoice generated successfully the flat one so this one so you see 394 uh and uh, 49 500 and you can you can give it to your employees or your tenants now uh, the next thing that we are going to see is to receive payments so when we are going to receive payment from the invoices all the invoices that 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 has not been paid are appearing here let the last invoice that i have created is 8 so and i when i click on it and search it i'll get all the details i i will get how much amount he has paid and now i'm going to pay let's say 300000 Uh, i'm not going to pay the complete amount the payment mode i have put here uh, these payment modes and then and i click on save and okay so you see invoice 8 rent collected successfully and here at the at the bottom sorry at the top you can see this and you can print this invoice and hand it over to and and so on 
So you can see total paid is 300,000, remaining amount is also appearing here. So you can take the, collect the rent in installments as well. So if I come here again and uh, click on the invoice, the invoice will appear here until and unless you haven't, you have, uh, you have paid the full amount. So when you load here, uh, the invoice again, you see the remaining part. So if I put here 660,000 and then when I come out, you see the current print so it is checking everything so there is a very less chance you have to, uh, for mistakes to be done so if i put here 49500 and then payment mode this time is let's say uh, ifp ibft and then save so you see this payment has been done and when i click on print you see the remaining amount is now zero the total rent has been paid completely and this is the payment in receipt number invoice number date of payment everything is properly coming here okay so this is the invoice you can print from these options okay so this is how you can collect rent so all these options that you have seen in the beginning are one-time options and these two uh, are the recurring options that you have to use every month now uh, if i go to upcoming rental report i can get to know that uh, which invoice is overdue which invoice has how much days to to pay like due date so automatically you can get uh, your tenants that this this amount has not been paid this amount is overdue for this much days and so on so this is a report where you can check uh, from from which tenant you are going to collect the rent and who has paid already and so on uh, now let's go to some reports uh, there are some reports let us go to tenants if i click on reports i can get my all the tenants with their phone numbers emails and address and i can print that as well there are some other reports let's go to and reports and here if i click on all locations and load i can get all my locations with the status whether they are vacant or whether they are occupied along with the distribution here and uh, then we can have the vacant if you want to see the vacant locations only so you can get the vacant locations and then we have the occupied locations and click on load we can get the occupied locations accordingly then we have another report in the step 5 occupancy if you can click here and go to report you can get uh, the detailed report of that particular location and uh, shop or flat so you can see flat this and started on this leaving on this advance paid this and the monthly advance uh, that was the monthly period and the comments were blank i haven't put anything and the status is active and there is notice no so i can get the detailed information about the occupancies of my uh, of my assets inventory everything all right guys last but not the least we have this data option here here you can you can do the backup of the data and restore of the database that you are that the data that you are generating in order to secure your daily work uh, you can use these two options make sure you use usb drive or some uh, location where you are allowed to write or create the file and uh, make sure you will create the file with the extension .bak. so let's say if i'm going to back up my database so i'm going to put here .bak as extension uh, and you cannot save in directly c drive so you have to keep make sure that you are uh, having an external drive a usb or a uh, external hard drive okay and then click on save it will take the backup of your whole database and so on and then if you are moving to a new system you can just select restore and select that backup file wherever you have saved and then that's it the system will do the rest so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you me uh, this software is available for everybody who wants to buy it please let me know if you have any comments thank you so much see you in the next video